I was able to ask those questions early on at those various stages of development, whether it was software or whatever it was, you know, what, what are we collecting? Are we collecting personal data for what purpose, what intent? And are we only collecting what we absolutely need for the next immediate thing? We all know that from a marketing standpoint, they're mentally trying to gather as much as possible, right? So they can leverage that. It's not always leveraged though immediately. You know, a lot of them will say, well, I'll never get another chance again to collect this. I want to collect it all up front. Well, you're only asking them to sign up for an e-newsletter. Why do you need, you know, this list of titles and, you know, uh, postal address and all that? You don't, right? And we're going to see more in scrutiny on this, obviously, from the regulations. Anyone following the U.S. uh, privacy laws that are coming about, just about every one, there's, there's a few exceptions, but just about every one has a data minimization principle being followed. So this is, you know, something that we're going to all have to wrestle with. But being open and transparent <laughs> with your risk team, whether it's in the privacy, security, it doesn't matter. You, you need to explain what we're trying to do and get everyone on that same page and do it sooner rather than later. Because you're exactly right. You become the the no people. And and the more you say no, the more they try to work around you. We, we understand how that game is played. 